Let's start the 3D modeling part of this project using AutoCAD software. I have AutoCAD software opened and I have used a classic interface throughout this project because this interface can give us maximum screen space to work. And I'll be, I'll be giving the commands using the keyboard. If you find other interfaces such as a ribbon or toolbars more comfortable to work, you can stick to those interfaces. Now I have a plan of this house opened in AutoCAD. I have provided this plan along with the video description. You can download this plan and you can follow my steps. You can see that I have used number of layers in this drawing such as roof, walls, furnitures etc. And each of these objects in the 2D drawing should not be used directly to make 3D objects but these objects are going to be used as reference objects. So you should not select these objects by mistake when you make 3D objects. I'll go to layer properties manager dialog box and I'll select all the layers and I'll lock these layers and I'll create a new layer and I'll call it as a 3D wall because all my 3D walls are going to be kept in this layer and I'll unlock this layer and I'll give a color for the 3D layer. Let it be a white color for the 3D wall then I'll make that as the current layer. Now I'll switch over to a south west isometric by clicking on the view cube. Now let's create the 3D walls. For that I'll use a polyline then I'll start tracing it over the existing wall line and I'll connect the corners over here using this polyline. And I'll give close. Now I'll give offset command and I'll give an offset distance of 24 centimeter because that is the thickness of the wall and I'll select this as the object to offset and I'll point the side here to get a parallel line. Now these two uh, lines are going to be used to create the 3D wall. I would like to uh, freeze all layers except the 3D wall layer. For that you have a shortcut that is just type hyphen LA. When you type hyphen LA you will get all the command line options of the layer command in the command prompt area and you can just freeze by typing F. When you are asked to freeze the layer you can just type star. Star stands for all, it's a wild character. When you give star, you are asking the software to freeze all layers, but you know that it's not possible to freeze the current layer. So that will remain there. Now this is how you isolate a layer. Now what I'll do is, I'll give a command uh, called press pull. Press pull on, uh, on this boundary. That is press pull command will let me uh, generate a surface uh, from a boundary. So I'll just click inside this boundary. So it'll ask me to give a height. I'll give a height of 300 centimeter because that is the height of the wall. So you have created a wall thickness. You can just give a shade to see the change. Okay, now let's go back to the previous uh, state of layers by clicking on the layer previous button. Now you can switch over to with wireframe view by going to view visual styles and you can go to 2D wireframe. Next we will create the doors and windows. But before we make these objects we have to indicate the lintel level. You know that at the lintel level there is a beam which is running throughout and that level is at a height of 210 centimeter that is 7 feet from the floor level. So we will start with the polyline and I'll uh, trace this uh, this line that is a wall line. So I'll uh, draw a line throughout. And I'll come back to this point and I'll give a close. And I'll move this line using the move command. 
base point, I'll click here. When I'm asked to give the second point, I'll turn the ortho mode on and I'll give a, a distance of 210 centimeter. Now it has moved through that height. Let's create the cutouts to accommodate the doors and windows on the walls. So we have to create the profiles on the respective walls to make the cutouts. Now let's start with KW3 that is a kitchen window. Uh, you know that the size of this window is 150 by 100. So if you want to make a profile here, uh, you can give a rectangle command first. Then you make sure that your dynamic uses is on in the status bar. When the dynamic uses is on, the profiles which you create will get automatically aligned with the face and you don't have to align the UCS there. Now I'll pick my first corner here and when I'm asked to give the opposite corner, you can either define this corner or you can go to dimensions. So I'll go to dimensions, I'll type D. When I'm asked to give the length of the rectangle, I'll give say 150. When I'm asked to give the height of the rectangle, width of the rectangle, I'll give say 100. Now it will ask you to pick the other corner. I'll pick the other corner here. So we have completed the rectangle. Now this rectangle has to get moved and it should align with the lintel level. So you can give a move command and I'll select this as the base point, this as the object and I'll select the base point here. Then the next point I'll take a perpendicular and I'll pick here. So it'll get aligned with the lintel. Now you have to make this, you have to create a cutout out of this profile. So you can give press pull command. I'll give press pull. You just select this profile and you can just pull it backwards. So automatically it has resulted in a cutout. I'll get, give shade and I'll show you the difference. So you have made a cutout. In fact, you have to repeat the same sequence of steps on the rest of the wall faces. Now let's create a cutout on this face. So I'll start with the rectangle command. I'll highlight this face because this is where I want the rectangle to appear. Now take the cursor on this corner and uh, you can give the dimensions, go to dimensions and you give a width of 100 because it's a two panel window and height of 100. Just fix the opposite corner here by clicking. Now move. This is the base point and you select the second point at the lintel level. Just take a perpendicular. Now you can give the press pull command. Just type press. Just give an enter. Now you select the profile. Just click a point inside the profile. Then you drag to create a surface. Now you have pulled a surface and now you have made a cutout there. Now let's move on to the door. I'll make a rectangle. The, which has got the size of the door so I gave rectangle command and I'll I want the door to align with this face so I'll take the cursor onto this face and that face got highlighted I'll click one corner here and the opposite corner is going to be here because this is one meter which is the width of the door and uh, the height goes up till lintel so you have a point here so you can just click there now we have made the profile for the door now this can be readily press pulled the way you have done before. You can again give press pull command and you can just uh, select this profile and you can drag a surface inside. Now you have made a cutout here. Now you can repeat the same sequence of steps on the rest of the window locations. That means you have to create profiles for the windows. Then you have to move those profiles to the lintel level. Then you have to apply press pull command. Uh, here this is a FW4 that is a French window having four panels. The length of this window is 200 uh, centimeter and the height of this window is 180 centimeter. And this is FW3 and it is a three panel French window. The length of this window is 150 centimeter and the height of this window is 180 centimeter. And this is again W3 that is a window with a dimension of 150 by 150. And by the time you complete creating cutouts on respective window and door locations, your 3D model will appear like this. Now let's shade the model. This is how it will appear. Now you can see that there you have created cutouts for the doors and windows only in this sides because I actually want to create a southwest view. Okay, so even if there are doors and windows 
in the other sites you don't have to model or create those windows because those objects are not going to be captured by the camera even you don't have to create the partition walls so even if you create these partition walls and when you take a view from outside that means an exterior view these partition walls are not going to be seen so you should be very keen when you create a 3d model okay you are supposed to create only those objects which are actually going to be captured by the camera so in this lesson we have seen the method to create a 3d wall in the next lesson i'll show you the method to make a door